having a great day. Don't ask what that was. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Chris. It's so nice to meet you. And to all of my longtime followers, thanks for coming back, y'all. Y'all, okay. So I just got back from Target and I wanted to just hop on here real fast because I'm deciding to try, or I have decided to try, um, a dupe attempt. Okay, now I'm not trying to make this dupe, but it's been said that there is a dupe for the Fenty um, Gloss Bomb. So I decided to pick up the supposed dupe, okay? <laughs> Just in case you've been living under a rock and you have no idea what the Fenty Gloss Bomb is, but it's a lip gloss by um, the makeup brand that Rihanna created. So it looks like this. It's a really pretty color. I've had this for a while and I still have quite a bit. Um, I do wear this pretty often. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I actually have some so I can compare it to the dupe. The actual shade name for this lip gloss is called um, Fenty Glow. Kind of like a rosy, um, it's not really like rose rose, but it kind of shows up as like a muted light rose natural lip color with some shimmer to it. I have no idea where that explanation was going, but yeah, it's kind of like a your lips but better with some high shine to it that type of color. Um, so pretty much like anybody can wear this color without issue. I know like for me personally, I like to pair it with like a lip liner around the edges and stuff just to kind of define my lips. So the supposed dupe is supposed, why do I keep saying supposed? Supposedly. So it's been said like on Pinterest and stuff that a dupe for the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb is from Revlon. Um, and this is the shade Rosy Future. And you can see it looks like this. It's supposedly like the same color. That's what it's saying, okay? That's what's been circulating around and stuff on Pinterest and stuff. So in the tubes, they look really similar. Um, the Fenty Gloss Bomb is, I think, $18 at Sephora and stuff like that. Um, and this was $5.19 at Target. You can also find this at Ulta. Now, when I went to Walmart, they didn't have it. So I don't know what's up with Walmart, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this video because, you know, they're just like lip glosses and stuff. Um, but I just basically wanted to see if, you know, the colors are similar enough to be a dupe in case you don't want to spend the $18 to want a lip gloss. I know I had kind of a tough time justifying spending $18 on a lip gloss, um, but I wanted to try it out. It, the packaging is like adorable and everything, so I wanted to try it out. But it was a splurge for me, um, so if I could find like a drugstore dupe, I'm totally down for that. Let's check out the colors together. Here is the Fenty gloss. So pretty. And this smells so good, y'all. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Mm. It smells amazing, okay? So you can see that it's kind of, it's kind of like transparent, but it, again, it has like that lip tone to it. Let's check out the Revlon Rosy Future, All right? Now I will say that they do look similar in the tube, but I think that the Revlon one has more of like a frosty tone to it. like. It's a little bit paler and the Revlon one has like the faintest smell. It doesn't smell bad. It really kind of doesn't smell like anything. Here's the Fenty and here is Revlon. And you can see that there is a slight color difference there. Slight. Looking at the swatches, both of these lip glosses have like the same type of shimmer to it. So there's not chunky glitter. I do not like big huge flecks of glitter on my lips or even on my eyelids or anywhere okay so they both are very very finely shimmerized ain't no word but shimmerized um so that it looks really sexy and clean on the lips and it's like reflecting light beautifully I've been sitting on my hand for maybe like five minutes or so and i will say that the revlon one which is this one here is kind of like warming up so it's not as frosty as it's set on my lips the the fenty one looks like the exact same but the revlon one definitely did kind of warm up to my skin tone i haven't done anything so now they they almost look identical almost on my lips right now i have a combination of a whole bunch of stuff so i'm going to take this off i actually had on like a lipstick and um i wanted to see the the texture of this gloss um and i just put some on in the car so yeah this is not going to be like the exact color, so I'm going to take this off. So I'm just going to take this off with some avocado oil. <laughs> Chipotle napkin. It's okay, whatever works. <laughs> I can actually really go for some Chipotle right now. Barbacoa? Mm. Soft tacos? Yeah, girl. Let's 
get a little bit creative here. I'm going to do one side of my lips with Fenty and the other side with the Revlon. Now let me see. I've never done like a side by side swatch. <laughs> oh, I already went over the line. I'm going to have to fix that. Now why y'all ain't telling me that the top, my top line was all jacked? <laughs> I think that's about half. Now for Rosy Future from Revlon. Mm. Now, in person, I'm gonna try my best not to rub my lips together. <laughs> but in, in person, I can tell the Fenty side has way more shine than the Revlon side but I like both um yeah for my day to day I'd probably go with the Revlon side just cause it's a little less in your face shine um but they both I mean this is easily toned down like all I would have to do is spread it a little thinner you know what I mean so it's not a big deal or anything like that but on my lips they are pretty darn close pretty darn close but I will say that this is a bit warmer this is more of a tone that matches my skin tone better so i would definitely pair this side definitely with a lip liner but i think that is pretty close it is pretty close i've had both of these on for uh several minutes now and i can definitely tell that this side the revlon one is going to last longer on me and i've already said that but now that i'm wearing them side by side i can definitely feel it it feels like the fenty gloss is going to run <laughs> away very very soon so I would have to like put something you know around my lips to prevent that from happening this side is not moving at all some differences um so i guess it's just going to be like what your preference is so i hope you found this helpful if so don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos and also don't forget to hit the notification bell somewhere down there okay that just lets you know when i post here on youtube so i hope you're having a great day I'll see you all very soon in another video take care be sure to check out my channel homepage and our new channel the wind down with chris and ty for lots more to watch